Behind every ChatGPT query lies an AI factory, powered by the world's richest company, NVIDIA. And over the years, these factories have gone by different names, Pascal, Hopper, and now Blackwell. But NVIDIA doesn't build these factories alone. They depend on hundreds of companies to bring them to life. Some of the world's richest giants, Broadcom, TSMC, and ASML, owe much of their new wealth to these systems. But buried deep behind a mountain of wires in silicon lies a company that you've probably never heard of, called Astera Labs. A company that started in a garage in 2017 by three engineers who quit their jobs at Texas Instruments to launch one of the fastest growing AI companies in the world. Today, their market cap has quadrupled in just over a year with no signs of slowing down. Because without this company, the insatiable success of NVIDIA AI factories like Blackwell and Rubin would likely grind to a halt. So in this video, I'm gonna put you on to how one company saw an AI bottleneck nobody else was solving, how they became one of NVIDIA's most critical suppliers, and why their story represents everything about how the AI gold rush really creates wealth, not just for the miners, but especially for those selling the picks and shovels. In 2017, three engineers working at Texas Instruments saw a huge problem that the entire world missed. Because in just a few months after Google released its groundbreaking paper on the transformer architecture, they watched AI compute explode. They realized everyone was focused on building faster processors to power the future of AI factories, but nobody was solving the highways connecting them because data was acting just like vehicles, getting stuck in traffic jams between GPUs. So they quit their comfortable six-figure jobs and started Astera Labs in a Santa Clara garage with a singular mission, solve AI's traffic jam before it happens. And their timing was perfect, because just as they incorporated, NVIDIA was beginning to standardize AI infrastructure with their HGX platform. But NVIDIA faced a critical problem. Their GPUs were so powerful that traditional connections couldn't keep up. Physics, it turns out, was becoming the bottleneck. But knowing the problem, and solving it were two different beasts entirely. Because almost immediately, the trio faced a credibility crisis. Because in reality, they were just three random guys from Texas Instruments, an outdated company known for calculators and analog chips, claiming that they could solve a problem that industry giants like Intel and Broadcom hadn't even acknowledged existed. So at first, venture capitalists laughed them out of rooms. Why would Nvidia need you, was the constant refrain. And to make matters worse, their actual answer required a physics lesson. Because at the speeds NVIDIA's AI factories demanded, 32 gigatransfers per second and climbing, electrical signals literally degraded into noise after traveling just three to four inches on a circuit board. It would be like having hundreds of racing cars on the street, but not enough lanes to give them the space they need for speed. So according to physics, it didn't matter how fast your latest NVIDIA GPU was, if the data couldn't reach it intact. But shockingly, the industry's solution was actually to slow everything down or use expensive optical connections. But the Astera Labs founders believed there was a third way. So they spent six months in that garage, burning through their personal savings, building prototype after prototype, each of them wondering if they made the right choice. But the breakthrough came when they realized the solution wasn't actually to fight signal degradation, it was to embrace it. Instead of trying to preserve signals over long distances, they would completely regenerate them at strategic points. So imagine you're standing in the middle of a large football stadium, trying to shout a message across a football stadium. But by the time it reaches the other side, it's garbled and weak, so much so that the person receiving the message just can't understand it. So the industry's approach was to simply shout louder by using a solution called read drivers, or maybe use a megaphone through solutions called amplifiers. But Astera Labs' innovation was different. To place someone in the middle who listens to your message and shouts a completely fresh version to the other side, which is a solution called a retimer. And the retimer chips extract the embedded clock from incoming data, recover the actual bits, clean up all the accumulated noise, and then it retransmits a perfect copy. And the best part, it could do it at the blazing speed of 64 gigatransfers per second. And this extended signal reach from three to four inches to over 10 inches 
the difference between a system that works and one that doesn't. But the real genius was making these chips intelligent. Because while competitors built dumb signal boosters, Astera added diagnostic capabilities, adaptive tuning, and protocol awareness. This meant that their chips could detect degrading connections before they failed, automatically adjust to temperature changes, and provide massive amounts of data for entire data centers. But the pivotal moment came in late 2018, when Astera got 15 minutes with NVIDIA's hardware team, because they brought a simple demo. Two NVIDIA GPUs trying to communicate at full hyperspeed across a foot-long trace, something widely considered to be impossible at the time. But when they ran it with their prototype retimer in the middle, the connection ran flawlessly. But it wasn't an instant success, because NVIDIA's engineers pushed back. What about latency? You know, because in high-performance computing, every second matters. Or in this case, nanoseconds. But here's the true breakthrough. Astera's retimers added just 10 nanoseconds, less time than light takes to travel 10 feet. What about power and heat? Well, believe it or not, at the power used per lane, they used less power than the trace heating they prevented. The real test came when NVIDIA asked them to validate with an early hopper prototype, hardware so secret it required armed guards during transport. And that's when it happened. Because when Astera's unique retimer chips enabled stable 32 gigatransfers per second connections where everyone else's solutions failed, Jensen Huang himself took notice. So by 2020, the partnership was sealed, they'd landed the NVIDIA contract. And when experts trying to reverse engineer NVIDIA's products and opened NVIDIA's HGXH100 systems, they discovered the extent of NVIDIA's commitment. 16 Astera chips per board eight on each side. Today, Astera's four products dominate AI connectivity. Ares retimers generate $356 million annually, appearing in 80% of AI servers globally. Scorpio switches, launched in 2024, manage traffic for entire AI clusters, and they're already 10% of revenue after just months. But despite owning 80% of the market, threats still loom. Broadcom launched competing products in March 2024, wielding 50 times Astera's R&D budget. Marvell claims superior technology. But what's most concerning is that 70% of revenue comes from just a few hyperscalers like Amazon, who could build their own solutions. And with only owning seven patents versus competitors' hundreds, Astera's moat remains dangerously shallow. But despite these challenges, Astera has a path to become one of the first highly successful publicly traded AI startups. Because as we approach physical limits of electrical signaling, connectivity becomes the problem. NVIDIA's 2027 Rubin Ultra Roadmap shows 576 GPU chiplets consuming 600 kilowatts per rack. So without revolutionary connectivity, these systems simply won't work and Astera owns the solutions. And while retimers are today's business, Scorpio switches are tomorrow's platform because they enable treating entire data centers as single computers. And some analysts believe that Scorpio could generate $3 billion annually by 2029 as the industry shifts to rack scale architecture. But Astera is relying on the multiplication effect to drive them. Because when Nvidia sells a new AI system like Blackwell, Astera sells 16 chips into it. And for Rubin, NVIDIA's next generation of AI systems? Well, they'll need 32 or more of Astera's chips. It's like being the company that sells all the tires. Every car needs four, and they need replacing. Except in Astera's case, every new AI system needs their chips from day one. So now that every major tech company is bragging about spending billions of dollars on AI infrastructure. How much are you spending, uh, would you say, over the next few years? Oh, gosh. Um, I mean, I think it's probably going to be something like, I don't know, at least $600 billion through 28. Astera is poised to be one of the biggest winners. Because what if I told you that buried in every one of those systems, making sure the data flows properly, sits Astera Labs, 
an unknown hypergrowth AI startup racing to $100 billion market cap faster than any public company in history. They're not trying to strike gold in the AI rush. They're not even selling shovels. They're selling the thing everyone forgot they needed, the wagons to carry the gold back home. And the three engineers who started in a garage solving a problem nobody else saw, they didn't just fix AI's traffic jam. They built the entire highway system that every AI company now depends on. And if you believe AI is the future, then the company managing all those connections might just be the best bet nobody's talking about. Because in the end, it really doesn't matter who actually builds the world's smartest AI. Because if it can't talk to anything else, well, then it's nothing more than an expensive calculator. And Astera Labs is making sure that never happens.